Good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. Hope you all are having a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Um, and then our topic for our video today is going to be about gang, not gang talking, but um, let me sure I get this right. It's going to be about gas lighting. <laughs> it really does, okay? Gas lighting. So before we get started, my brothers and sisters, let's give thanks to the Most High. Most High, I give you thanks. Alright, my brothers and sisters gonna go for a walk. Alright, before we get started, I'm gonna read a little bit. And then I'm gonna give you some experiences of the um, gas lighting that I experienced. So let's jump right into this video. Gas lighting, my brothers and sisters. Before we go for the walk further, I'm gonna stay right here for a little bit in the sun. Just say, when a bruiser tries to control a victim by twisting their sense of reality, okay? That's the meaning of gas lighting. Now, let me give you an example. A partner doing something abusive, my brothers and sisters, and then denying it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like when you caught your partner doing something or whatever, and the first thing they do when they caught in the act, right? What they do, my brothers and sisters, they deny it, right? You can go all around the world with it, but they still gonna deny the situation, right? So I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to check into the situation. They're lying. <laughs> For real, though. Okay, now, gas lighters may also convince their victims that they're mentally unfit or too sensitive. <laughs> That's their favorite line, my brothers and sisters. That's their favorite line. Ignore that mess. For real, though. They know you didn't do that stuff. And the signs is, my brothers and sisters, is, okay, they insist you said or did things you know you didn't do, right? Pretty sure we've all been through that. Let me think. They deny or fall actual recollection of events. Like you bring up something, you know that happened, and then all of a sudden you had the courage to express yourself with that person. Wow, they deny. Okay, they call you too sensitive and crazy. That's their favorite line, the favorite words to use. You're too sensitive, you're crazy, right? When you express your needs or concern about what's happening or what they've done or whatever like that. So, let's see, the next one is you express doubts to others. No, they express doubts to others about your feelings, your behaviors, and your state of mind. You know what I'm saying? They be twisting or retelling the events to shift the blame on you. They love to shift the blame on you. And it's a form of narcissism and sociopathic tendencies. They look to gain power and control over someone. My brothers and sisters that nails it to the T on everything. So now let's jump right into my experiences on this. I'm about to take a walk. I'm gonna walk this thing out. So that being said. So when you experiencing all these things what I just read to you, don't be afraid to speak up and express yourself. No matter what they say to you no matter how they call you out your name and stuff like that, have the courage. You know what I'm saying? Be vigilant of that behavior towards you. You know they speaking bad on you. So I encourage you to take those things that they speaking over you. They speaking it really on themselves. You know? They're trying to change your perspective on what you know is the truth. 
So they'll try and do everything they can to distract you from achieving your goals. They try to do everything they can to deter you from what you know to be right and try to tell you, oh no, you wrong. If you know you are right, you done took it up with the most high, you know, prayed about it and everything like that, you know you right. You go over the situation before you even express yourself to that person, right? I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, stay encouraged because you are right. See, that's their job, to gain power and control over you. So I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, don't fall into that trap. And if you already fell into that trap, my brothers and sisters, there's always a way out. There's always a way out. You know? You either don't stay in the situation and tell yourself what this person is telling you is the right thing, but you know in the back of your mind and in your heart that you know you're speaking truth, right? So what you need to do, my brothers and sisters, you need to examine that thing real carefully. Real carefully, with a fine tooth comb, you know? And believe in yourself. It's all about believing in yourself. You know, because if you don't believe in yourself, my brothers and sisters, you will find yourself in that trap that they set for you. You know? That's where a lot of us fall in that trap from, from these abusers is because we don't have enough belief in ourselves you know we, we don't have self-esteem you know we've been beat down for so long until we don't have the courage to pick ourselves up so what i'm telling you this morning my brothers and sisters encourage yourself even when nobody else is encouraging you, fighting for you, know and trust that God is fighting for you. He's rooting for you. And he's trying to give you warnings and steps on what to do. It's up to you to receive. You got to learn to receive. You got to open your heart and receive what he's trying to give you, right? You know, don't go throwing pity parties. Don't go, don't go acting like, uh, maybe this person is right. Why, you know, don't believe that. Because the, the tips I just read to you, you know you correct. This is confirmation to you on this video. You right. So keep speaking over yourself in the right, positive way. No matter what nobody's saying about you. No matter what um, circumstance somebody is trying to drag you through. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself that you know you got this. You got this no matter what. No matter what you're going through. They're going to bully you. They're going to have other people gang stalk and bully you. But you got to have faith in yourself. You got to have faith in God that no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstance that anybody puts you through, you got this. You got this, my brothers and sisters. So don't be down on yourself. Encourage yourself. Stay strong. Stand in your power. Take back your power. You know? Because I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, when I was going through this, I'm encouraging you. It was hard at first. Until you figure out what these people were truly about. 
as I just read the information to you, you're going to gain confidence. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start encouraging your own self. And then you're going to work that thing out. No matter what. You know? They try to put other people in a situation in your life. They make you feel the exact same way. And then that's where you get to start second guessing yourself. No, my brothers and sisters. Still stand strong on your belief. Still believe in yourself. You know what you, you, you've been through. You know what you're going through. So. And if it get too much for you, my brothers and sisters, you better get some help. You better seek outside help from the appropriate, you know, like, you got to get some therapy maybe or something. You know? You can't gain your strength and be strong after everything you done done. But I can't imagine this will keep going on if you prayed up and you trust that most high got your back. Ain't no way you should be still going through it. See, that's why I believe where you're losing hope and faith or something. So gain your faith and trust. Trust in you. If you can't trust in yourself, how do you think somebody else going to trust you? Huh? You got to have faith in yourself. You got to have faith in God. That he going to, whatever your problem is, no problem is too big for God, right? So what I'm encouraging you, whatever your burdens is, Take them to God. You know, don't take them to man. Because man is just study digging holes and ditches for you. And traps. So you want to go to most high and be intimate. Build a relationship with the most high. And that way you'll be able to come to him and talk about anything under the sun. You know? That's all it is about. Don't let nobody, nobody on this earth tell you who you not. Show they but who you are. You know, we all go through problematic relationships. No matter if it's our fault or their fault. It don't even matter who at fault. It's up to you to stand in your power and get away from that thing. It's up to you to stand in your power and say to yourself, you know what? I had enough. But don't fall back into that mess. See, because that's what they want you to do. They want you to fall back into that mess over and over and over again. They get to stalking you, monitoring you, having other people monitoring you, gaslighting you like you just gonna lost your mind. They're already calling you crazy and too sensitive. So they just really going overboard. But like I said, these people with narcissism, narcissists, and sociopaths. That's their job to do that. That's their job to tear you down. You know? Simple as that. And they're gonna keep doing it as long as you allow them to do it. That's why you got to stand strong. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Keep that on your forefront, brain. So whenever you're going through something, you'll be able to challenge that thing. You'll be able to recognize the signs when somebody being dirty and trying to treat you crazy. See, the only thing they're doing is reflecting their issues and their problems onto you. Pay attention when somebody talk to you. Everything they saying bad about you, that's the reflection of themselves. You know? They ain't got nobody else to, to um, beat down with it, so they're going to come beat down you with it. That's why you got to grow a pair of balls, right? Period. <laughs> Seriously. You can't be too nice in this world. We all gotta have a dark side as well, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, my brothers and sisters, people will come out the woodwork. And they'll trample over you like 
demons and scorpions and stuff like that. You know? So be vigilant. When these people come across you, nip that thing in the bud before it get out of control. You know what I'm saying? Put that love to the side and look through the perspective of the lenses that God is trying to give you. You know? God wants everybody to treat everybody right. You know? We don't deserve to be treated like somebody garbage. We talk, you know, garbage and stuff. That's that other person's garbage. Let that person take out his own garbage or her garbage. So I'm encouraging you to build up some strength, tenacity, you know, and believe in yourself. Cause ain't nobody else gonna do it. Cause if you don't believe in yourself, how you expect somebody else to, right? If you don't have confidence, oh my goodness self-esteem and all that. You got to build these things up. It don't come overnight. But when you already have it, don't let other people come into your life and take that from you. Once you start feeling that way, you need to check into the situation and figure out what you're going to do. Don't let stuff go lingering on for years and years and you ain't doing nothing about it. Only thing you're doing is racking up problems, my brothers and sisters. So I'm encouraging you. Love yourself first. And that way, all things that's and problems that's in your midst of your way, you're going to handle that situation right head on. So I'm encouraging you, my brothers and sisters. Don't let nobody come on you like that. Don't let nobody come at you like that. Be strong. Be wise. Protect your energy at all costs. You know, these vampires out here trying to get your energy every chance they can. You know? So I'm encouraging you, my brothers and sisters. Be wise. Be grateful when somebody gives you knowledge and wisdom. Don't just take that thing for granted and don't use it in your life when it can save your life. All right? So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, I'm about to end this video. I love each and every one of you. Stay blessed, stay prayed up, and watch your back. Watch your back at all costs. Anybody come into your life that you know ain't right, Nip that thing right in the bud, right off. Don't let things linger on. They come, they could have been sent by the devil. Come to kill and destroy, right? So I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, if you have somebody gaslighting you, this is the time to step up and take action. All right? So with that being said, I love each and every one of you. And I thank you guys for stopping by to see what sales lady boss up got pop locking on her channel. I appreciate each and every one of you support. With that being said, my brothers and sisters, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, my brothers and sisters. Peace.